Hi. So this is the first Vlogtober video, not the first one that you're seeing, but it's the first one that I'm filming, which is exciting for me. I guess that's less exciting for you, but it is for me. It's September 17th and I learned my lesson last year. Um, I did two daily vlogging challenges last year. I did Vlogtober and Vlogmas and in both of them I came up late. I had this these big plans that I was going to start early and pre-game and get a few videos like ready to go and then some of them would be filmed in real time but I had a plan that I was going to get a big chunk like done and out of the way and yeah that didn't really happen I think I had a couple ready to go ahead of time but for the most part I was scrambling I was getting things late it was stressful but not this time not today uh today I am in a parking lot um about to try the Jamba Juice pumpkin let me make sure I tell you the right name pumpkin smash uh about to try the Jamba Juice pumpkin smash smoothie um i ordered this through the jamba juice app which i am telling you because i this is my first time using the jamba juice app and it made it a lot easier to figure out what is vegan um i used to eat drink i used to go to jamba juice almost every day back when i like worked in a yama hospital and then even like when i became a dog walker because having like an active job working with animals like you need to eat something for lunch you need something that's going to give you energy but also i if i eat a big meal <laughs> like I wouldn't want to go back to work <laughs> I would just be like lazy in the afternoon and having an active job like you don't want to be have like a chipotle burrito in your stomach you know what I mean at least that was my experience so um I became very friendly with Jamba Juice when I worked in an animal hospital that was like right around the time I went vegan so before I went vegan and then um after I went vegan Jamba Juice was one of the places that um I accidentally got dairied uh a few times and Part of it was that I thought I could just go in there and ask the person like, hey, does this have dairy in it? Or if I make this substitution, does that make it vegan? And they would be like, oh yeah, sure, that's fine. And then lo and behold, I would find out later that the thing that I ordered actually had dairy. So it was kind of my mistake, kind of their mistake. I didn't come prepared, basically. Um, so I'm telling you about the Jamba Juice app because uh, this is my first time using it. They have an option to flag any items that have dairy. So while you're scrolling, like you can, you know, like, if I'm gonna order this thing, I need to make a modification. Um, and it also just tells you right there the list of ingredients, so it's like super easy to follow. So um, I would recommend using it. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but I colored my hair today and there's like blotches all over me. I'm strategically keeping my hair like this because my ears, this ear is probably purple and this ear is blue. That's just how I roll. Let me drink this because it, it is hot. Even though this is Vlogtober and it's coming out in October, it's supposed to be fall. Today is kind of a warm day and I'm sitting here in my car with no AC. So before, actually before I drink this, let me tell you what it is. I guess the ingredients are pretty straightforward. It has oat milk. It has some kind of frozen oat dessert, which I'm assuming is like an Oatly, I don't know if it's Oatly brand, but like some kind of oat milk vanilla ice cream. And then the third ingredient is what, just pumpkin? Let me consult the app. I don't know, but that's where the pumpkin comes from. It only has like three ingredients. Yeah, the third ingredient is pumpkin spice blend. Um, also, I wanted to mention, if you are ordering this, make sure you get the plant-based version because they have a uh, non-vegan version and then they have the plant-based version, which is like clearly labeled. So just make sure you pick the right one. Okay, I'm gonna taste it now. Okay. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. I was, like, like pumpkin smoothie didn't sound great to me, but really, like, the idea of a pumpkin smoothie seemed confusing to me, um, but a pumpkin milkshake seems like it would be good, which is basically what this is. I would classify this more as a milkshake than a smoothie because what is a smoothie? It's like all fruit and maybe you have like some juice or some milk or something like that. But once you incorporate ice cream, I feel like that goes into milkshake territory. And to me, this is like a pumpkin pie milkshake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It definitely has like the texture of like a, like a McDonald's shake kind of a little bit thicker than that. Cause I remember the McDonald's, I haven't had a McDonald's shake in probably 12 years, but I remember them being like a little bit frothy, foamy. It's got like a little bit of that but it's also, I think it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, it tastes like pumpkin pie ice cream. 
I am on board with this. I got the small one. Usually I would go for a medium at Jamba Juice, but I got the small one because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. Um, and in case it was terrible, I didn't want to end up with a giant one, but it's actually really good. And I feel like this is like perfect fall vibes for like Southern California where we don't really know what the weather is going to be like or when it's going to feel like fall. Like it could be 80 degrees in October. We don't really know. Um, so go get yourself a pumpkin smash smoothie um, while everyone else is drinking like hot pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, speaking of hot, uh, another item that I got is the apple cinnamon pretzel. I also just realized I forgot to take a thumbnail picture. That's been happening to me. Like, I'm so excited to try the food that I start eating it, and then I realize that, like, I forgot to take the thumbnail, and then I have no choice but to either go buy the item again and eat it again just to take the thumbnail or just take a picture of me with, like, the half-eaten food. I feel like before I get too far into this, I should try to take a thumbnail picture. How's this? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is that fine? Should I move this out of the way? Oh. Okay, there we go. Here's the thumbnail. Here it comes. Here comes the thumbnail. If anyone was watching me right now, they probably think I'm a complete weirdo. I just started eating this without telling you what it was, but you might already know. It's an apple cinnamon pretzel. I was pretty excited to find out that this was vegan originally. I mean, I found out several years ago. As far as I know, it's the only like pastry type item at Jamba Juice that is vegan. Um, and it's one of those things. I think it's because I'm a little bit paranoid because I've accidentally been dairied there. Like every time I order it, I'm like, should I stop and Google this? Because what if they changed it? You know, sometimes people like businesses will like change their recipe without saying anything and all along something that you thought is vegan is no longer vegan this doesn't happen very often now that i'm saying it out loud it doesn't happen super often but it does happen occasionally and for some reason this particular item is something that i've always been paranoid that they might change the recipe because usually it is it does happen with like breads and stuff like that i think like a restaurant maybe had like a veggie burger and it used to be on a vegan bun and then all of a sudden they changed their bread supplier and now the, the bun is no longer vegan but as far as i know I should clarify, this is just all paranoia in my head. This has never happened at Jamba Juice, but going back to ordering with the app, um, that is one nice thing because it does tell you all of the ingredients and it's a pretty simple ingredient list. It's a lot more basic than I thought, um, but you can read the ingredients and double check when you order, like when you use the mobile ordering thing, like it's just right there so you know that it's still vegan and you don't have to worry for eight years of your life. This is not the best one that I've had, let me finish chewing first. So this is not the best apple cinnamon pretzel that I've had from there. I think it depends on, like, you need to get the per- Because so I get it warmed up. And I think you need to get the perfect amount of time in the little toaster oven thing that they use. And then you also have to pick it up at the absolute perfect time. And I don't know what those times are. And I'm also not the one putting it in the oven. So it's kind of like a, a roulette situation. I don't know if that's the right metaphor. But it's kind of- it's good. It's based on luck when you show up and what they, how busy they are that day, how if they forget it in the oven for a little while, if they take it out too soon because they're in a rush, you don't know. But I feel like most of the time it comes out good, but every once in a while you get a dud and I think this one, it's a little, it just comes out a little bit drier. It's like not, it's not quite as good. It's not bad, but it's not as good. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's actually little like white swirls in the shake. I think it's like the ice cream kind of separating a little bit from the uh, pumpkin or maybe they don't blend it for super long so it's like kind of like that intentionally I don't really know whatever it is it's good though I like it like that at first I thought it was gonna be one of those situations where like your soy milk separates from your coffee like something like that that you don't want to happen but no this is this is good all right you guys I think I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna finish this pretzel and the rest of my milkshake on the way home. I actually just got off of work and I'm gonna go home and work on some more Vlogtober stuff. I thought this was the perfect time to film this today because I knew if I go home hungry, I'm gonna be cranky and I'm not gonna wanna work on that stuff. So this is how to ensure that I get it done. It's like a little pre-ward, which for those who don't know, a pre-ward is giving yourself the reward before you actually do the thing that you're supposed to do. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this on the way home and let me know if you guys tried the pumpkin smash smoothie from Jamba Juice. Let me know what other uh, vegan pumpkin spice, pumpkin fall flavored things you guys have been eating um, because I have a lot of Vlogtober videos to make and maybe I will go try them if there's something you think I should try. Um, okay, 
stay tuned for more episodes and um, I'll keep waving at you with this pretzel. See you later. Bye.